Hello out there, dev loggers. Let's do today a very quick look at um, using a Perforce shelf. In particular, let's look at using Perforce shelf for code review. Uh, I've done an example where I uh, did a little work with the Spookalele AGP team here, uh, here at school, and um, I have put my work into a change list. Of course, you're going to take each atomic change that you make, a significant change, you're going to put it into its own change list and give it a name. Now, what I've done also is push that change onto um, a shelf. Now, very, very quickly, what is a shelf? A shelf is a way of saying, in Perforce, is when you say, gosh, I wish I'd made a branch for this, but I didn't. Uh, so, for example, I did some changes and I modified a couple of CS scripts that I added. I, I added a couple CS scripts. I modified a prefab, it looks like. Modified prefab, added a texture, and modified a scene. So all of these things that I did um, and together they create the result that I want. So I'm going to check those in together. But I don't want to just check all that in without someone taking a look at it first to make sure they actually want this. So, you know, code review. So how do I do a code review of that then? What I do is I will take my change list and shelve the files. So I'm just going to do shelve the files, don't shelve unchanged files, that looks good, go. What does that do? You saw a little spinny down here. That sort of goes up to the server, creates a little temporary branch on the server and commits these changes not to your main branch, not to where you're working, but just to that shelf that it just made, that little mini branch that got created up on the server. So that means these files now, they're up on the server. They're up there. Uh, and what good is that? Well, um, the, the first most obvious thing is I can revert these. I can revert them and then pull them back again. Um, but in this case, what I want to do is use the fact that they're on the server to share them with the dev team so that they can review those changes and decide if they want to keep them or not. So I've made this change and I will share this number, 170385. I will send an email to the dev team saying, uh, 170385, please look at that shelf. Okay, and then the other person says, what, how do I get that shelf? You can see I can see that shelf because I can see my own personal changes. Um, how do they see my changes? I've gone ahead and made um, another change on another machine so that I can show you how to see other shelves. Uh, let's do that now. If you go to your pending tab, right? Well, here we are on our pending tab. You can see the filter. The filter, if you open it up, it defaults to current user, current workspace. So I'm just going to turn those filters off. Okay, and now I have no filters, so I just see everything. I just see every change list. Now, um, it might make sense to sort them then by the user who told you about the shelf, or if they just gave you a number, you can just sort by change list, so just by clicking there on change. So. I gave you that number, 170385. And so you just scroll down. If you sort by change list, it'll give you, you know, you can go numerical order and find the one you're looking for. Uh, but as an example, I made a different one um, over here on this other computer. Oh, guess what? It's right at the top of the list. I don't have to go looking for it. I was going to go to the other computer and look at the look at the change list number. And guess what? It's 170. 946. So yeah, there it is. Shelf example. <laughs> so I can see here all the changes. Uh, I choose the one that I'm looking for. For this example, let's look at shelf example, which is 170946. So I can look in here and say, oh, look, there's shelved files. And I have a file here marked for change. Uh, and all I have to do is diff I will diff it against the source revision. So diff against and see what they changed. This is their change. Uh, and it comes up highlighted here. This is the original file. This is the new file and the change is highlighted. 
and you can see that uh, this was added. So then um, I might say, oh, I want to test that locally. I want to test it. If I want to check that file out locally so that I can um, see what's going on there, I can test it out. So I'm going to unshelve. I'll right click on the shelf and say unshelve files. And what that will do is add it to a pending change list. And I'll go ahead and make a new pending change list and call it, uh, let's call it, oh, it automatically called it for me. That's cool. Okay. It called it unshelved from pending change list. Excellent. Okay. So now I have that file locally. And so if I open that file here on my own computer, I will get that version locally. I can build the game, I test the game out, make sure that change is good. And then if I like it, I could commit that change. I could say, uh, yeah, I like that change. So I could, if I wanted to, I could submit that change right here. Um, or I could submit directly from the shelf. Um, I don't want to. So I'm going to, this was just an example. So let's go ahead and revert that. I don't want this to go away. Uh, and we will delete that change list. Don't need that anymore. And then let me go over to my other computer and get rid of that example. Um, yep, okay. I will, which you do by deleting the share. Uh, I'll show, show you with this one. Um, the way you would get rid of that is you would delete the shelved files right there. Um, but I don't want to do that on that change. I'll do it though on my sample. And then once you've done that, you delete, delete the pending change list as well. Delete the pending change list. Uh, you'd have to delete the shelved files first and then you can delete the pending change list on the right click menu and then you're all cleaned up. So there you go. That's what you can do. Um, you can see someone's changes. And let me hit refresh on here and you'll see that it's gone. Gone. So that's, uh, that's using a shelf to do you know, some code review. Um, really powerful technique. You can use this to share files among team members. You can use it uh, to share files amongst yourself. You can use it to do code reviews um, and uh, I would encourage you to jump on that. So shelves, um, uh, I guess you're probably going to want to put it back when you're done, when you're done and you're like, oh no, but I, how do I get, how do we make this now go back to the way it was? Just take, um, just here on your filters, use the drop down to go back to current user, current workspace, and you're back to the way it was. Okay. Awesome sauce. So that's, that's shelves. Um, a lot of uses for shelves, and one of them is to do code reviews, and that's how. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll take you through it in detail um, in this specific example. And for the Spookulele team, let me know if you want that. I'll check it in for you. Um, or, hey, you know what? I just showed you how you guys can check that in yourselves. Um, and then once you do, let me know, and I'll just delete this shelf. Okay, catch you next time.